Today we're here with Ostara. Just a couple, few questions if you don't mind. I just got done listening to your new single, God Loves a Woman. I enjoyed it very much. Where did the name Ostara come from? Ostara is a goddess, a German goddess, and I was looking to a name that describes what I do the best. I was awakened that God gave me a gift to heal people. My job is healing the inner child through music, other different outlets of entertainment. I have a very unique connection to children and to the inner child. Ostara is a rebirth. So my mission is ignite the champion from within, help people awaken to their gifts and their mission in life. And that's what Ostara stands for. Rebirth, hmm. awakening, empowerment. And so how long have you been writing music and performing? I always wrote music since I was a child and I always perform. You know, whether it's an official stage or not official, but that has been my way of life. I noticed before you actually used to write a different style of music. Uh, what made you change? I used to write music that's more about what's commercial, fun, and what works. And I thought I was very smart to actually do that, and I was very proud of myself. I've been on Vogue, I've been on Elle magazine, Gala. I've been on a lot of charts. I was number six on UK charts. And I thought by the time I reach all of that, the fame and all that, I will be very happy. The reality, I wasn't happy. I got probably what I thought I want, but I wasn't very fulfilled. So I had a change of heart after I was hit by major car accidents. And I wasn't able to think and process things the way I used to. My memory was impacted, my cognitive function was impacted, I had head trauma. And you said you've been writing since childhood. Can you tell us a little bit about that, about your childhood? And I had a very tough uh, childhood, the hillbilly lifestyle. The only thing I had consistent in my life is music and it kept me alive. If I didn't have that, I don't know if I will be here, but it kept me fighting for my life and get over all the circumstances I was going through. It's a life force. So that's why you write music? It was helping me heal. Music is home. I couldn't rely on the adult. I could rely on music and God. Those are the two things that I had and kept me going. You said you can rely, rely on God. Is that how you came to write God Loves a Woman? Or tell us a little bit about that. When I was a child, I always dreamt there's this like, airplane coming and somebody is like giving me like a rope and I would hold on to this rope and climb and be rescued from where I was. I wanted to have a free happy life and where I was were not great circumstances. I was very poor and I had this dream. That image was like almost impossible at the time to have this you know angel. It's like you know some kind of person rescued me. I met my foster dad and he's a priest. He, he took me under his wing and actually protected me regardless of what society or the government legal processes are. He was of course Christian and supported me, loved me, did what everything a father will do to a child except that he wasn't my father on paperwork but he's always my father and he will always be. That's where I started believing in God because I was in a moment that I did not have any hope that I will see like anything miracle happening and here's a miracle coming to me and you know and that's where I started being more on the spiritual path. And God loves a woman when I was suffering from these car accidents I was in pain so all the time and it brought me back to that moment. Okay, and while well, listening to God Loves a Woman, I noticed it has kind of a different sound, something I'm not quite familiar with. Can you tell me who your musical influences are, or where you came up with your sound? The way I came up with my sound is I always like dance. Whether there's music or no music, I will just be dancing. But the sound was already in my heart. God put that in my heart. Now, if you ask me what artists like that I love, that I would love to perform with, it's going to be like Pitbull. The reason why both of us escaped a controlling environment, came from very poor backgrounds and lived through tough uh, circumstances, and I relate to him. In addition to that, when I, was, uh, I got injured, 
you know, the dog was dancing, the music is playing, and for the last two years, for the last, not just two years, since I was here for the last seven years, I've been suffering from chronic pain and head trauma. It was hard for me to connect with people and relate to anything. So with friends that I look normal, somewhat normal, but they don't know where I was suffering from. And right now I look also normal, but underneath this wig, I have that. Getting used to looking this way, getting used to the full life change had me to believe in God and come back to the spiritual path that I abandoned for a while. So I couldn't rely anymore on what I look like on the outer. I had to turn into the inner and embrace what God put in my heart. So I'm a very spiritual person and God loves a woman is to help women and people that go through life-changing circumstances like it can be a car accident, it can be an abusive relationship, which I went through that too. It can be any anything. Regardless what's going on outside, you still can find your joy. Even if it takes putting a little wig on, <laughs> like I have right now, a little makeup or whatever, because it's God loves a woman, God loves you the way you are, and you know you're not alone. That's why it starts with, you now there was a time I was afraid to be alone. When your body's in pain, it's very tough to relate with people or to even think there's anything good that's gonna happen because especially when the outer looks good. Well, that's the challenge and that's why I wrote that song. The people I'm influenced with are the same. Like, I mean, I would love to work with Max Martin. Max Martin, he's a producer. It's music that comes from the heart and that speaks for, to the heart. I think combining what he does, bringing the fun along with the healing and the message that I have and spreading the, this message that God gave me, when I touch people, their lives changes. When they hear my songs, it will call to their greatness. Like holding a candle and I'm lighting one candle at a time and whoever spreads the message or shares the song will be doing the same thing. It's lighting every candle of any person, you know, any person they cross. Good, well, thank you. What, uh, what exactly a message are you trying to convey within your music? Despite the day-to-day -day struggle that I'm going through, I'm creating joy and happiness wherever I go and I'm staying on my mission. So whoever my message is for people that are dealing with a lot of circumstances and very hard, difficult situations, whether it's hunger, health issues, mental issues, or any other struggles that can take faith out of their hearts and see no, nowhere to go or feel very lonely, my thing is to encourage them to push through that and believe that God loves them and that there is a way out. They just need to believe it from the inside. I don't care what religion, I don't care what you, whatever it is, spiritual path you choose, just have faith. Have faith that you are on the right path. Have faith that shall pass. And tomorrow there will be a sunshine. Just like the universe never failed us to turn winter into summer. Oh, that's the same thing for our lives. These songs that I'm writing is to encourage people to do that. Everything starts from healing the women. And women naturally are goddesses. They have a nurturing aspect. They work a lot. Some of them have like a full-time job as mothers with children and raising them. We have these great adults in society thanks to the children that they raise and put in, pour in love to them. In addition to that, sometimes they have other jobs. It's a lot on a woman. And society has a lot of ex expectations on women. It, we need to honor women in our lives and honoring them for who they are and what they do, the way they are. Nobody can tell you who you are. You know who you are. And you'll discover who you are just by whatever you're doing right now, wherever you are, you have a mission. It's just whether you're aware of it or not, but you will be. Good, so you're conveying this message through your music. Do you have any other projects that you're trying to work to help convey this message to heal the world and to empower, empower people or? Yeah, we do have a couple songs coming up and after that we do have other projects as well and we will be announcing that 
on the website. We support small businesses as well. Uh, there will be more information as we grow, as we get the message out there, whether it's film, books, Nickelodeon, or whatever deals uh, that we can uh, have, and we will share that on the website, which is www.ostara.com. Is there anything else you would like to leave the audience with? No matter what you're dealing with today, don't get discouraged. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And here I am sitting here dealing with chronic illness and I'm still not letting anything stop me. And if I can do it, you can do it as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you.